hey hello and welcome back and today I want to tell you guys the difference between WD Red and WD Ultra Star as quickly as possible. Now WD Red is a drive that is designed for more enterprise use in the world of network attached storage. Available in a number of capacities it is a good drive but it has to be said that a number of you are noticing Ultra Star arriving at actually quite an affordable price point in some cases lower than that of WD Red Pro. So let's talk about the differences between them. What have they got in common first? Actually well they're both 7200 RPM drives which is good to see and they both use the same technology inside to keep it nice and high performing internally. They both arrive with five years of manufacturer's warranty and support up to 600,000 load and unload cycles. They're also both 3.5 inch SATA drives, although I will touch on that later on because there are some key differences between them. Now, let's talk about those differences at length. First and foremost, Ultra Star Series drives do bring a couple of things to the party that just aren't available on WD Red Pro. First and foremost, they do support a number of different encryption systems, military grade in fact. FIPS, for example, or FIPS, is one of those requirements that a number of businesses will need on their drives before they put them inside any of their machines to make sure data will be safe internally and encrypted data is maintained and encrypted. On top of that, these drives also arrive with SAS connections which are twice the potential performance than that of their sound SATA counterparts, meaning that some of their even mechanical hard drives far surpass the performance of the SATA based mechanical hard drives from WD Red Pro. But performance is more than just the drives inside and the interface. It's worth highlighting that both of them arrive with an area of cache inside, but the maximum cache on any WD Red Pro currently is around 256 meg, with maybe 512 on drives coming very soon. Whereas on the Ultra Star series, it already hits 512 megabytes on a number of their different DC series drives in the DC HC300 and HC500 series of drives. That does result in an improved overall performance threshold on that of the Ultrastar, with the WD Red Pro series of drives arriving at around 240 megabytes maximum across their range and speeds dipping a little bit as you go into the lower capacities, whereas on the Ultrastar they do hit around 260 to even 270 megabytes per second performance across the myriad of their range and although it does dip across the lower capacities it's still greater on the Ultrastar than the WD Red overall. On next, we can talk about mean time between failure, because it's worth highlighting that the WD Red series arrives with 1 million hours mean time between failure, or MTBF, and 2.5 million, or 2 million in some cases, on the Ultra Star series, meaning just a greater degree of security and peace of mind across the whole system for a number of us that have got these larger RAID arrays, and particularly in where Ultra Star is designed to be utilized. Now, the drives themselves also can be measured by their workload, with the WD Red series of drives arriving up to a 300 terabytes per year guaranteed workload, which sounds like quite a lot, but when you look at Ultra Star, it goes up to 550, mil uh, to 550 terabytes terabytes per year workload and with them both arriving with a five-year warranty that is a substantial gain there on the workload ratio on the WD Ultra Start and a lot of that is why this is a data center class drive. This is a drive that is designed for enormous arrays with the WD Red Pro being designed for up to 24 bays. The Ultra Star can be found in systems larger than that. But because it can be found in systems larger than that, it's worth highlighting that this drive does consume more power, both on idle and in active use. And the same goes for noise too. It is a noisier drive by around 15 to 20% and a fraction less than that even on idle. So it is a more powerful, a power hungry and a noisier drive utilized. Now bear in mind, both of these in large 24 bay arrays are gonna make a pretty big racket with the spins, hums, whirs, clicks, and spin ups and spin downs that you would find in a drive in any system. But it's worth highlighting that in the case of the Ultra Star, it is certainly more noticeable. And ultimately, if you are more conscious of power consumption and more conscious of uh, noise in your local area environment, always go Red Pro. But still, if a noisier drive is gonna bother you nonetheless, neither of these drives are going to be for you. But this has been the key differences between WD Red Pro and WD Ultra Star. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe. And do visit the links in the description to learn more about these drives. I will see you next time.